So for today, we're going to be looking at the playlist armor that we got for Season of the Witch. If you guys don't know, this is the armor that was supposed to be the Eververse armor, but because Bungie basically was walking back a lot of the things they said in a previous uh, TWAB where they were saying that playlist armor, usually people know, don't wear it because it's because for whatever reason, even though the real reason was because the armor is usually trash, it looks really terrible. So Joe Blackburn came out and basically ran back a lot of the things that was said in that TWAB, essentially giving us the Eververse armor for the playlist armor as an apology. And uh, I think he said that he's going to be, they were going to be working on playlist armor. Uh, PVP got a, a lot of things announced as well. So I am really appreciative that we're basically saving 45 bucks for this season. Um, and we're getting it in game, which is really, really cool. I do have a few negatives about it, uh, specifically like the design of the armor and the actual acquisition of the armor. But that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the armor? Are you guys currently farming it? Let me know in the comments below. But we're going to talk about the acquisition first and then look at the armor. So hold your hold your horses a bit because I got to talk about this because I thought I think it was really important. So for me, I this is anecdotal, but for me, I think the drop rates are really terrible for me specifically. My hunter and I'm going to be honest with you guys took essentially a, a, a full reset to get the whole thing titans about a full reset as well and then for my warlock that one was an anomaly i got it in like under 20 matches which is really weird but for my hunter and titan again it took me a lot of time so much so that i actually was so i started an iron banner when it first came out i decided to do iron banner the whole time just because i wanted to kill two birds with one stone get the armor so i can review it and then get the shaders so i can review it as well which i'm currently working on as well and I was pretty much happy went to my first reset did not get like i think i got one or two pieces for the hinterland set uh which is a hunter set and then i went for another rotation because obviously i need to get the shader and the shader is basically at legend did all of that and i think i had gotten like a few pieces of the biosphere explorer set which is the titans so at that point i had only had a few pieces for the hunter and titan and i was at reset two reset three after iron banner was gone because after reset three i ended up just deciding to do momentum control because that's just easier for me that's when i got everyone's pieces but that's also the one that i felt the most stress over just because it was a really annoying momentum control can get very aggravating because uh, everything in their mom can kill you really fast and at that point i think i should have just taken it a little bit more casual but at the same time it was more frustration about the fact that it took me three full resets for crucible to get everyone's armor so i just want to throw it out there the drop rate is terrible i mean again you might have luck like i did with my warlock where i essentially got like all of my armor in less than 20 matches which is wild but probably less than 20, 10 if i'm being quite honest because i got it fast but again for my hunter and titan that's usually like where i was at so that's that's all i want to say the drop rates are really terrible and just expect to be there for a while you can do crucible gambit or vanguard i did crucible just because that was going to be the easiest thing for me because vanguard makes me really sleepy and gambit i mean come on let's be real and i'm not going to do gambit so let's actually look at the armor now so here is the armor i think the armor is really cool uh for the hunter it's called hinterland set biosphere explorer set for titans and ossuary set for warlocks i think the armor is really cool we're not going to look at shader right now we're going to look at that later because uh that's where the critique really comes in but design wise i think the armor is really cool i think just i just have like a few things that i'm not the biggest fan of for each of the classes and they're super minor uh for the hunters i think the cloak is super dope helmet is super cool chest piece and boots all super cool the thing that i'm not the biggest fan of are the actual arms uh and it's not even like the arms themselves i think the hands are cool the actual forearms are cool it's the shoulder pads and for anyone who has followed my content for a while you guys will know that i'm not the biggest fan of asymmetry and that's not even completely true i like asymmetry if it's done correctly because this one's just one side is heavier than the other side and i don't like that i would have preferred if the left side of the arms for the for the hunters had a shoulder pad as well but it wasn't the same design and maybe it was something else or maybe it was like actual skull of a hamkara because i'm pretty sure this is an hamkara hunter look um for all the classes so the skull of whatever they were hunting on that arm would have been super dope because yes it's asymmetrical but at least it's 
like it's equal on both sides it's not heavy on one side which is what the problem is for this one uh titans i think the helmet is really cool the chest piece uh, although i do think it looks cool i would have preferred if it was a little bit more more bulkier at the back and in the front like you're hunting you're hunting ahamkaras i again i'm assuming they're ahamkaras because the bone doesn't change color um but for me a titan hunting ahamkaras definitely has to have like a bulked out like chest piece and a bulked out arms as well which is another problem with the arms that i have that being said this is a this is an asymmetrical set that looks good because it's not heavy on one side one side has a lot of bones but the other side has armor as well and some bone in there so it makes it like equals it out which is why what i would have liked to see for the hunters uh titans the boots i will say i like the boots design wise i don't like the fact that the shin uh, armor on the right side does not change color uh the same color as the other armor like legitimately it, it changes some to something else which is really aggravating um the bones on the actual like feet the boots i'm not the biggest fan of either just because they look very fragile and like they were they're gonna break um i'm not saying they couldn't have bones down there but the actual fangs coming out i think that's the problem and the mark i think is way too up like way too on the stomach i think it should have been a little lower and the mark actually i think should have been the skin of the ahamkara i think that would have been way better i might be but it looks too leathery for me I, like i don't know let me know what you guys think about it warlocks helmet dope chest piece doper and the boots and the arms i think are really cool the bond i also think are really cool i think warlocks definitely won this set just because a lot of the pieces just look amazing the, the thing is though i can't really say like who won and who lost because it's like all of them look cool in their own right i think the hunters just, the arms are just really bad so the hunters technically lost there but everyone else has such banger pieces i'm like i mean everyone ate well so i can't really talk about it too much but for shadering, that's when it gets problematic, which you guys will see right now. For shadering we're gonna start with the hunter and then go all the way to the warlock so i am not a big fan of pieces that don't change color uh if you guys have followed my content for a while you guys will know that i like loathe pieces that don't change color because it it just stifles your look it stifles what shader you're gonna use granted a lot of people are gonna tell me oh just use the shader and ignore it i can't ignore it it's it's very aggravating because now we're stuck with this yellow bone color and it's you know what's even the worst part about it is i wouldn't even be that mad about it if the bone color was like a bone like an off-white like a bone color like if it was like the dreaming spectrum bone color i would have been like okay that's fine because i can work around it off-white is way easier to like manage than a yellow bone because now it's like well now i have to find a shader that goes with that bone or just completely ignore it which i think looks terrible so hunters i think all of it looks pretty terrible i'm gonna be honest with you guys. everything looks pretty terrible except the titan boots because everything like every, from the front it looks cool aside from again the asymmetrical shin guard but then you get to the boots and that's when you see the actual like bone color and then at the bottom or at the uh the calves for the titans at the like you can see the bone there as well so it's minimal but it is still there and 
yeah, I really don't have a lot to say about the shader because I think it looks terrible all around. There is no shader that looks good with it. That being said, there is like two shaders that I'm obviously not showcasing right now. But I mean, hopefully, hopefully I can put it up right now just because I do think it makes a difference. But you guys will see it in the individual pieces sets that I've made because I already made a lot of the individual sets for these. And I think they look really cool. It's just the fact that a lot of it's like I'm either ignoring the bone or I have to like make sure my shader is making like all of it look good. So that's like my biggest issue with this armor set. It's just the fact that the bone doesn't change color. And again, I don't mind if the bone doesn't change color, but I do think they should have done what they did with one of the cloaks in the game where it changes color, but it changes color very, very slightly. So like it starts off white, if I remember correctly, and then it, it changes to like off whites and, and, and like grays and stuff like that. So I think they should have done that for the bone color. So that way you can at least customize it a bit. Again, I think we should just have the option to change the color or not. Like maybe have a have a toggle where it's like, I want the I want this armor to change this color a lot. That will give us a lot more freedom because I would just toggle this shit off um, unless I'm going. I'm like leaning into that color. So let me know what you guys think. Again, I appreciate that the armor is free instead of 15 bucks for each of them. But at the same time, I would have still tore, tore this armor up if I had bought it because that's what I usually do. Like I'm not, I don't sugarcoat stuff and I will tell you guys what bothers me about the armor. So this one is, it's literally just the bone color and some of the asymmetry in the actual design that really like annoys me. Other than that, I think this armor would have been an easy A like S plus probably if the bone color had had changed. If the bone color had changed, this would have been such an easy dub, but unfortunately we don't live in that world. So let me know what you guys think about the armor itself. I do have a few things that I'm working on. I'm currently working on the Hex Rot set, which is the seasonal pass armor. I already got it all. And this is actually the next video I'm going to be working on. And then we're going to be working on the individual sets for the Ahamkara sets. That's what I'm just going to call them because that's what they are essentially. Um, we're going to be doing the individual sets, which is the Hunter, Titan and Warlock. I got them all done and I'm currently working on the Hex Rot sets because I'm going to be real with you guys. That one's the one that's going to give me a lot of trouble because we don't have a lot of like druid sets in the game. So now it's just like, I uh, hope this looks cool. Uh, hopefully. So yeah, I'm also going to be working on these shaders because I'm going to be working on the playlist shaders, which I already have the season pass shaders, the iron banner shader. And I'm also going to be doing the weapons from this season because I still want to do that. And I have it all done. I just need to do the voiceover, which is what I'm doing today. All today's just going to be voiceover Monday. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.